Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY with Pam. My name is Paloma and I am so sorry that I have not posted in such a long time. I've been just so busy with finishing school and everything, but I have a really exciting news for you. On Wednesday, which is two days from now, we are going to get a hamster. So I'm really excited for that. And so I wanted to do some DIYs to prepare for the hamster. So today is just going to be a movie theater for the hamster to play in and, you know, rest in whatever it wants to do. So without further ado, let's get started. So the things you will be needing for this is some scissors and any duct tape you want. I just have like eight here because I don't know what I want to decorate it like. And any clothes that are, um, well, it should be fluffy, but if you don't have then any clothes that just don't fit or you're just going to throw away anyways, then you can use that too. So, oh, the most important thing, a cardboard box. So it should look like this, just any Amazon box, anything like that. So I had already started working on this, so the only thing you could do to go where I am is just cut off all of the sides so this side you have to cut off this side you have to cut off and this bottom side and then you just leave like this one thing and that's all you have to do to catch up to me because i just already started cutting so yeah let's just get started on the video so as i told you before just cut off the the three edges and that way you will have one left over that you are that we are going to use so, you can pause this video while you cut the three edges. Now, all you want to do with this one is fold it into three. So, I just folded one side first, let it stay there, and then I folded the other side. Just like that. So that it comes out looking like that. It's okay if it's a little floppy, that's fine. You just, we're going to fix that later. So, that's all you got to do with that piece. So, when, um... Ugh, so as I said again, once you're done with that, you're going to just decorate it with some duct tape. So I just chose this, chose this pineapple one that looks really cute and I just want that for my hamster. So here I go. So as you can see right there, I have finished um, outlining, I mean bordering the whole um, box like so. If you want, it is completely optional, but you can put Mod Podge on it so it just doesn't stick off. But I'm not gonna, I'm not going to because it's not that necessary. So, anyways, this part you're going to leave empty because that's where the bedding is gonna go. Because anywhere a hamster goes, there has to be bedding. So that's where the bedding goes, and I'm gonna see if I can decorate the inside. But I'm not gonna do it right now, just in case. But I am going to add some something to this. I'm going to go see if I have some white paper because I forgot to say it in the intro. But you're going to need that so that you could draw on it like if she's watching a movie. So yeah, I'm going to go see if I have some. So I did have some white paper. Here it is. Now this is like a super simple part. All you got to do, you can put this like so if you want to. Just stretch this out. You can either do it like this, just just trace the marker on this and then just cut it out. Or even easier, you could use... Sorry. The part that you cut out, you just trace it. The part from the other side, obviously. So yeah, you just trace it and then we'll go from there. Alrighty, so here I have my cut piece of paper using the method I just told you guys about. And here, when I put this on this, it should be the perfect size. So, right now you just want to glue it on, or you could do the drawing before, anything you prefer, but I prefer gluing it on first to see how everything fits and so. So there we go, our taped on paper to the movie screen. 
Now, all I'm gonna draw on there is just like a documentary on hamsters because he is a hamster. Or flowers, like I'm not really sure which one. So, I guess I'm just gonna draw hamsters smelling a flower or... Yeah, something like that. But I'll just think about it and then show you afterwards. So there it is. I ended up drawing a ladybug, very random, but there you go. And a flower on each side. So now that we have that done, we will start with the easiest part. Which is just the place to lay down. So now you will grab your pants. Or at least I'm going to grab these pants. And you're just going to cut off as much as you need. Like, my hamster is going to be really small because I've already seen it. And it just has to be something very small. If you're getting like a Sarabian hamster, um, or like a teddy bear hamster, anything like that, that are kind of big, and like the bigger side, you should get um, a bigger piece of this. But since mine is really small, I'm just going to cut out... Um, just as much as this so that they have this whole space just for that so here I go so I actually had a change of heart I just I mean a mind what am I even saying I decided to um, cut off more of the pants as you can see because I decided to fill up the whole box instead of putting bedding in there from the hamster, just put in this um this soft fabric because it's very soft and it's um like the hamster will will like it because you know it's warm and it's fuzzy. So I just decided to put to put this here instead of the bedding. So this is what it looks like. The duct tape over here, the movie screen, movie screen over there. And the bedding all over. Obviously, I'm gonna add more features to this. If you want, um, I could show you how to make a pillow so that you can have little pillows all around. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel because we are gonna have so many more videos just like that one after getting the hamster. And I really, um, I'm excited to show you it and. I'm not sure when I get the hamster, I'm going to make a video of me holding it and everything. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Bye!